what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up and run the PS4 exploit using the ESP8266 Wi-Fi board now this is for PS4 running on 5.05 .05. and what this device does is that it helps you to keep your PS4 offline so it creates like a fake router so your PS4 won't accidentally download those updates so let's go ahead and get started I'll leave all the links in the description so make sure you guys go ahead and check them out before you get started so the first one you want to check out is wululu.net and this is where I found the information and it was very simple to do and very helpful so make sure you read everything and understand it before you go ahead and do it and they also provide links towards everything that you're going to use so to install this device on your computer you will need the drivers for it so you can download the windows 10 windows 7 or xp driver and make sure you download the one that is corresponding to your computer if you're on xp download the xp driver also you will need the payload bin to host the to host the exploit so you have to download this as well and you will need a flasher to flash these files to the device again it also depends on the window that you're running if you're using a 64 bit download the 64 if you're using a 32 bit windows download the 86 if you're on mac download the third one so after you got all those files downloaded save them on your computer like this so we will need to extract the driver right here and this is the driver folder so we're just going to extract it and leave it as that and the next thing you want to do is extract the host bin extract here and just leave it as that so go to your device manager then plug the device in to use the device you will need your micro USB cable so plug your USB your device in then press as you can see right here it doesn't show that it's installed so right click update driver browse now let's search for the driver where you have it extracted so as you can see this is my driver right here so just press ok press next and that's it it's gonna install so press close and as you can see it's now installed properly so keep in mind of your com5 right here because you will need to select this with the flasher so you can go ahead and close this remember number five now right click on the flasher and run as administrator okay so once it's loaded up up top where it says serial port you want to click it and select your com5 and right here we need to browse for the payload bin so click browse and this is the payload bin press ok and there you go now keep right here as default keep this right here again as default and the last one you want to click yes and now we can click flash nod mcu okay and now it's done so we can now go ahead and close the page and we can remove the device from our computer and let's plug it to our ps4 okay so once you have connected the device to the ps4 using the micro usb cable as you can see if i try to start my game it won't start so let's go ahead now and set it up so go all the way over to settings go down to network set up internet connection Wi-Fi easy and as you can see at the top we have ESP8266 exploit host so press X 
and we need to put the password and the password is not your original Wi-Fi password it's P S 4 X Ploit. press done press OK there you go internet settings updated now we can test the internet connections perfect everything is okay now let's go ahead and host the exploit so go up to user guide user guide and there you go now we have this nice and pretty exploit to go ahead and take full advantage of. You can also run block update after you have run mirror plus hen just to make your PS4 more secure from getting updated accidentally. So let's go over to mirror plus hand. Press X. If you get this just press OK and let the page refresh and there you go you're all set so press the PS button and as you can see now we can go ahead and play our game the first time we tried it we couldn't play it because there was a small padlock at the bottom of it but now we can so that's how easy it is guys to run the exploit using the Wi-Fi board so it's very simple to use and very easy and I would recommend people to use this because it keeps your PS4 offline. So if anyone found this video helpful, please leave a like and also share the video and also subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.